Hello friends, so today we're gonna discuss the problem B from the latest code forces round 670 problem name maximum product. So you're given an array of integers a1 till an, find the maximum possible value of like the multiplication of five numbers or five indices in this like in the integer array which is given to you. So as you can see in this integer array which is given to you, you have to choose out five numbers such that their indices are not same and then what you do you find out the maximum possible product so now the main thing here is like you get confused that okay i have to do it in some like binary search way i have to find out some maximum values but as you can see i have made a separate video how to analyze the constraints the constraints are telling us something different it's telling us that it is up to 10 to power 5 as you can also see here it doesn't exceed 2 to 10 to power 5 so i have to do it in something o of n or o of n log n okay now the second thing here to observe here is if whether these indices matter or not what does this mean i i mean by that is if i sort this whole array because if i want to maximize my product this is one of the older question in lead code i have also made a video on that that's why i got a clear intuition about this question so let's assume that i have some values okay now if i have some values Let's assume that this is some, this is some positive value, and this is some negative values, and there is also like there is some zero, and the, then there is some negative values, and so on. So now what you can see here is, I can because I can take five indices. If I even sort them out, it doesn't matter because I don't like I will choose these indices. Let's assume that even after sorting them out, this will become the second index. Like this is the number which initially belong to the second index this is like the fifth index this is like the first index uh, like the fourth index or like sixth index and so on so it doesn't really matters why because i actually have to take these numbers only now the in the end i have to do the multiplication in the original array i have to take if i take just these five numbers in the original array this number belongs to this position this is this num position fourth fifth and sixth i will take these positions these five positions such that they are increasing they are not same and like we can do the multiplication so the order doesn't matter we just have to find out the maximum five positive numbers in this whole array but there can be some another case as that there are some uh, the positive numbers are like 10 10 all are 10 let's assume and the negative numbers are like minus 100 there are two negative numbers which are minus 100 so it's better to take these two negative numbers and the last four positive numbers so how you can do there is so it's just like a sliding window thing you can make a window of size 5 here okay because this it is given that the n is greater than or equal to 5 so you will not go out of bond okay so just take a window of size 5 here then try to shift it if you shift this block this block will or this part of this window will come to the front so it will become like this i will like clear it out to make it even more clear it's like first i will take this window of size like this is one two three four and five and then i can take this window of size five and then i will take these two and then the last three of then starting three and last two but because the thing here is if i take the last like if i want to maximize my product okay so i can take the last five numbers which is positive or i can take the last three positive numbers and two negative numbers because if i multiply these two negative numbers it will give some positive numbers and then the last three numbers are already positive or they can be cases that i can take the last four numbers if they are negative multiply them or and i take the last number last positive number so what I actually done here is I have just slide it out, slide this window of size 5 from this last 5 position till the starting 5 positions and then find out the maximum possible of all the cases and that's that's it. I have write down a very clear code so that you can like it is very small. So what you can do here is take the input of all the n numbers, sort them out. So after sorting the maximum like initialize with, with a very small negative numbers. Then what you'll do, you will initialize because you have five blocks. So you have to like slide this window by five positions. So this is the five positions. And then what you'll do, I have 
marked out the five window positions with this okay so what i actually done here is in this thing it sounds very weird but actually let's assume that i is equal to zero in the start so this is zero so these are the last five indices as you can see i minus like n minus one n minus two n minus three n minus four n minus five these are these are the last five indices and i will find out the product of the last five indices then i i will slide my window so i will how i will slide my window i will increase one to every of them but if i increase one to every of these indices then the last indices will go out of bound so how i will make this turn out to be the first index i will mod this with n and that's very simple so i will mod everything with n because if anything go out of bound it will come down to the first point and then i will again add one to every indices and mod it with n and then i will just like find out the value of all the five uh, like indices and then find out the maximum among all the five values and that's the answer i hope you understand the logic as well as the code is very simple and like you can easily understand it if you still may not have mentioned now thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye